after adding the cameras into NVR, it is time to take a look at the settings of each channel and figure out what each setting means. So let's pick the first channel, for instance, and press Get Device Setting. What it does now is to connect to the camera and get all the available settings together with a live preview onto the NVR screen. And here we have it. Let's expand the source information as well. Here, for instance, you can change the streaming method, choose RTP for instance, but remember, for some camera types, you have to make the same choice on the camera side. Here, here is the channel number if you're using the multi-channel video server. The access credentials, and here, you can pick Get Video From Device if you want to get the video stream into your workstation directly from the camera, not through NVR. But usually we recommend to use the streaming through NVR. And here you can change the NVR username. However, normally it is the, the one that we have assigned in the account page, so we don't have to change it here. Here we have this frame rate which shows 8 frames per second for preview. Let's say if I now pick 4 frames per second and upload this setting into the camera, then up here on the right corner now my choices are all limited to 4 frames per second. For instance for live view or remote live view or recording. And you can really see that the motion is with a slower frame rate or let's change it to two frames per second and now it is very obvious that we only have only two frames per second in this kind of display so this is the way to adjust the settings and we can actually do more we can change the the resolution here we can change the bitrate here or we can do some video quality adjustments here such as adjust the brightness or saturation you can see the instant change on the live preview and finally contrast and the changes have been made 